Hey everyone, it's Ted from Mob Rules. Um, so I'm here in my room, see my room? Um, modeling and such. Um, but I found something that was really cool on the Ebays. Um, and I've been looking at it for a while, but I wasn't too sure. Like, ah, the price is not quite right. But I really like them, but I really don't know. Um, and I'm just not too sure what I could do with them. They're not very practical in a gaming sense. And then it took a while and I'm like, oh wait. I can use them as really dope terrain. And they're from Russia. See, from Russia. That's from Russia. <laughs> so, um, what it is, it's the Imperial Sector cars from... Wax Mini? Um, I can't remember exactly. Um, I would tell you, but my Cyrillic isn't that great. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, You've probably seen the Inquisitorial cars, the little Inquisitors, the female Castellan, uh, the female Tau warriors and stuff that these people put out. There's a whole bunch of Chaos stuff. I think there's a female Chaos warrior. Um, there's some male Chaos warriors. Their obliterators look dope. Um, but anyway, lots of really neat stuff. Um, so I ended up getting a few of the cars. So let's take a look inside. Rattle, 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 rattle. All right, so my workbench is covered in orcs these days. I'm calling it the summer of orcs, so I'm trying to get back into the, my old school because that's, yeah, anyway. Um, so, hey! <laughs> uh, all right, so here we go. I'm busting this thing open. Um, nice. All right. Ooh, ooh. Uh, wow, these are kind of, kind of neat. I mean, Individually packaged Grim Skull. Okay, so there we go. I, I guess they do have an official title, Grim Skull. Um, I thought that that was just kind of like their cheeky way of describing what it was. Um, so Castellan heads. I just want to show these to you real quick. I know the video isn't about the Castellan heads, but there's the alternative Castellan head sculpt. Um, are they pretty much the same thing? It looks like they are the same thing. They're just duplicates. Uh, but those are pretty cool. I'm. Yeah, um, I, I have never put together a Castellan. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, see how it goes. So, anyway. All right, let me adjust my light. Um, so what do we have here? Like the first one, oh, by the way, 16 plus. So, uh, <laughs> you have to be a teenager. Halfway through your teenage years. All right, here we go. Oh, it's a little bit smaller than I was thinking it would be. All right, oh man, I just, I love those little packages. Those are really dope. Um, okay, this is really simple. Really simple little mod, mold, <laughs> car, model. All right, you just throw enough words out there and eventually it'll make sense. All right, okay, so there we go. So it's two pieces, oh no, oh. That resin is super shitty. Oh my god, you see all those cracks in there? Oh, what a bummer. That piece is Turdosaurus. The front piece is good. The back piece is just total crap. Okay, and it's, oh yeah, all those cracks. I maybe, uh, sometimes I just, I wanna say that the paint will fill it in. Um, I mean, it's, it's neat. It's a uh, 3d CAD, um, or however, I don't know if they're using ZBrush. Um, but yeah, what a bummer. I mean, it straight up looks like wood. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see. I mean, maybe there's something we could do. Um, maybe I could find some filler or something like that. Um, otherwise, I mean, the design looks cool. I like the feel of it in my hand. Like it's, it has a nice feel to it. I and mean, I can definitely see the uh, 3D print. You know, they made a 3D print of it. Um, I generally don't like that kind of thing. Uh, it's hard to tell with this angle, but... Uh, yeah, as you can tell, I'm, I'm a little disappointed, but... Um, I mean, it's still cool. I think this is, you know, for like a... Uh, for terrain, um, it looks hella dope. I really, I really dig the design. Um, I like the, the uh, I don't know what you'd call those. They're not the Florida Lees, but the, that Imperial, I don't know, what is that called? But 
Yeah, the, the wheels look cool. Um, I like the detail on the bottom. I mean, it definitely has like that, uh, the lines from a 3D printer, but you know, you're not gonna be looking at the bottom as long as the top is relatively fresh. Um, and I, I dig that like, here we have this servo skull looking thing on the back, you know, like operating the, the turbine. So uh, it's okay. All right. I'm it's yeah. Once I get over the initial disappointment, I'm actually pretty happy uh, with it. Um, it will be curious. I think like here, you know, if we get an orc sitting next to it, you know, like the, uh, here, let's see if we, um, yeah, we get orc sitting next to it. It's, uh, the orc is pretty big. I don't know if I have any humans, uh, laying around here, but, let's, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, the, the car is small. Um, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. And honestly, at this price, I wish it was a little bit bigger. So, all right, let's, let's take a look at some of the others. So let's bust open this one. So we have what was it? Oh, they have names on them. Okay, that was the Imperial City Car Mark um, 9. This is the standard Imperial Car Mark 6. All right. Maybe I'll just plop this in here. I'm not going to worry about the bags or any of that jazz. Um, and, you know, honestly, this could probably be some pretty okay terrain for um, Shadow War. I mean, you're already in your Manufactorum. Why not have some busted up cars in there? Uh, or not so busted up cars. You know, they, okay. So, this is the transport, standard transport. Ooh. Um, okay, this is just resin gates. It looks like there is a piece that has to go somewhere. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so let's, let's take, a, take a look. Um, so we have this, this, and then it looks like some wheels. Uh, all right. Okay, and then we'll see a rear wheel. It looks like a, a double. Um, yeah, oops. Uh, and then it looks like the, um, the Aquila head is gonna go right here. Let me get that taken care of. Let's see if I can just plop it on there so you can see what it looks like. Okay, there we go. Um, now, mind you, there's, it looks like there's a little bit of resin in here, kind of pushing the thing up, but it should be streamlined. Um, fairly clean. It looks like I do see some 3D, 3D print uh, lines in here that can kind of be cleaned up. So I'd get some sandpaper and go in there. Um, I'm not seeing the problem that the other one had, that first piece that, that looked like it was a wood. I mean, there's some intentional uh, cracks and stuff up there, but... This is cool. I, I'm, I'm much happier with this one. Um, and it does need to be just kind of touched up a little bit. And that, yeah, so they're a little bit sloppy with their mold, I think. Um, but it's it's looking nice. Um, it's a lot less, uh, I don't know, something about it. Like the style isn't as, maybe it was just like the way they took the picture. Uh, I was more impressed with the picture on the eBay, but this isn't bad. Like I'm, I'm, I'm fairly happy with this. This is cool. I, honestly, I kind of like that big vent back there. Oops, I really should be zooming. Um, yeah, it kind of looks like the back of a Terminator. So I don't know if they did that intentionally, but I like that little throwback to the Terminators. Uh, and this uh, these hubcaps, they kind of have like I mean, they have like an anime kind of feel to it. Uh, and I don't know, it, it is really cool. It, I'm, I'm happy with this. And they got the turbine that we had in the previous one. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to painting these up. I really am like this, this one, especially I'm, I'm really happy with this. Okay. So let's look at the final car. Um, all right. This is the runner, uh, the hive runner Mark five hive runner. Um, all right, ooh. Oh man, this is looking like a beefcake. This is a muscle car. There we go, there we go. Oh, snaz diesel. Okay, just real quick, look over it, okay. Uh, I don't see anything. oh, this is fairly clean. Dang, I could just, I could almost glue this guy together right now. Oh. 
Oh, that is pretty. Okay, where's the front? <laughs> okay, there's the front. All right, so then we put these guys in there. Um, there we go. And there we go, ish. Okay, there we go. Maybe. <laughs> God. And then the final wheel. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay, this one does not want to go. Um, there, that's just, ah, uh, whatever. Um, anyway, you get the idea, right? Uh, this is cool. It's almost like, it's not quite a limo. They do have a limo. So if, you, if you're thinking Hive is in um, uh, Gene Steeler Cult, like this is not quite it, but it, it does have that feel. Honestly, I don't, I think this came out before the Gene Steeler Cult Codex. Um, but really, I mean, this, the, the feel of the cab to me, uh, really seems like the, um, oh God, it was the Goliath. Uh, it really kind of feels like that. I mean, it has like, I mean, it's a heavy industrial feel. Um, it's not sleek at all. It's very masculine. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I could really see them connecting, you know, visually, aesthetically. So yeah. And the Eagles are a lot different. You almost, it's almost an inquisitor symbol. Right there, but not quite. This is dope. I mean, I also see this coming off of something like um, uh, Fallout. But it's a little bit more industrial for some of their Fallout designs. But yeah, man, this is dope. This is cool. I'm really excited for these guys to be on the battlefield just chillaxing. Yeah, look at that engine. That thing is mean. Those exhausts. Oh, this is awesome. All right, well, um, well, guys, that's that's kind of it. I mean, they do have a lot more um, vehicles. I think there is a larger set that I didn't want to get because once again, they are pretty expensive. I think these are um, they're probably twenty five dollars a piece. I think um, I think if you get them in a kit, it was like twenty something, maybe the thirty bucks a pop. I don't know, but um, so I think I was kind of it. Like I got the smaller of the packs. It was a decent, a decent. Decent clip. Oh, okay. The hatch. Uh, now I'm seeing some of that. Okay, that hatch is a throwback to the old Lehman Russ Chimera hatch. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So uh, they're pretty decent. Um, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm really excited to see them painted up. Um, I'm ex not excited that I have to paint them up. <laughs> not that I'm against painting, but oh my god, I have so many things to paint. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking for something else that kind of like brings your hobby table to or your, your gaming table to life, um, gives a little bit more of a believable feel to it instead of everything just being like war-torn uh, buildings that are one quarter of a, a one corner of a building. Uh, this would be a cool addition, I think. I mean, so anyway, take a look at these guys. They do have some other cool conversions. They all do, they do have some other um, alternate figures um, to what uh, Games Workshop has to offer. So if you're looking for a different aesthetic, um, they're pretty decent. They have a lot of sisters of battle type stuff. Then their sculpts look amazing on the website. Um, <laughs> it might not be very believable because you did just see me like poop my pants when I saw the uh, lines in the uh, mold. But um, yeah, I mean, so I try to support Games Workshop every chance I get uh, because if we support them, they support us. So I'm not a big fan of buying um, alternate sculpts. Um, but for things like this, you know, that really are, that G Games Workshop isn't doing, this is perfect. Like, this is exactly what third parties should be doing. They should be doing the stuff that Games Workshop doesn't, and they're, they're doing it fairly well. So, um, I'm a fan. Um, I'll probably pick up some of their other stuff in the future, just to kind of take a look at it and see how it goes. Uh, I mean, these Castellan heads look dope. Um, so I, I can't wait to put those on my guys. Uh, I, a friend of mine had chopped up one of their heads and put one of those inside so it looked as though his head was uh, damaged and the inner gubbins were there so anyway um we're gonna be doing more of these um i have a lot more stuff down the pipe coming down the pipe so keep in touch and like i said if there's anything you want to see anything you want to see i may or may not do it <laughs> but you never know like ask um and I would love to uh, take apart other things. Um, if there are some assembly videos that you want to see, leave them in the comments. Um, if I, I want to get into some more painting and hobbying tutorials. Um, so if there's something that you want to see, uh, let me know. I'll, if I don't know how to do it, I'll research it and I'll get it to you. Um, so that's all coming. So 
anyway, uh, it's been real. <laughs> Make sure to check out the podcast. We'll probably discuss these a little bit more in length. Uh, and uh, all right, see you guys.